Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to go over my top five bronzers. I'm trying to finish up this top five series here before the new year starts. So these are my favorite, not just from 2020, but just in my collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put in a caveat um, because I did my favorites of 2020 and the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer came in at, num at as my favorite. Now I have mine in the shade two medium I have been reaching for this so much that I'm surprised I have not hit pan on here. But this has been my favorite and my go-to. Now, one thing is, there is the bronzer, the Gucci bronzer that I did not get that I'm so tempted still. I'm still tempted to get it. Um, let me know if you guys think it's worth it for me to pick it up even though it's late. I won't be doing a review on it because everyone's already done their reviews, but I'm tempted to get it because everyone says it's their favorite even over the Charlotte Tilbury, which is shocking because I love this so much. Okay, so I have four other um, bronzers that I wanted to mention that I reach for consistently. Um, so let's go ahead and start at number five. It's the Hollywood Contour Wand. Now this Contour Wand, I have mine in the shade Fair Medium. It looks like this, and look at how nasty that is. So you open this up and you squeeze to get a little bit out of there. And then when you swatch it, look at how dark that is. It looks so scary. But when you actually put it on your face and you and you um, blend it in, it's got the best contour kind of bronzing color. And I absolutely love this. I really use this a lot, especially when I'm trying to chisel my face. And when you blend that out, it's a lovely, lovely beautiful blend so that comes in at number five coming in at number four is what i'm wearing today is my bronzer and it's the sisley fido touche sun glowing bronzer gel powder now this is beautiful look at that it's a big gelée formula so you need kind of a stiffer brush to work with this but let's look at this is gorgeous Look at that. And it's got a slight sheen to it, but you can't really tell, can you? I love this bronzer. I've been wearing it a lot since I got it when I tried all my Sisley products. I think it's beautiful. And if you just wanna highlight your face, you can take a big fluffy powder brush and just kinda of fluff it all over your face and it'll brighten up your face too. I've been really enjoying this bronzer and look at that. It's like the perfect shade for me. I've been enjoying it so much and I think it looks great on my skin, don't you think? It's not too harsh either. I could go in with the Charlotte Tilbury contour one and then put this on as my bronzer and I bet that would look beautiful. So that comes in at number four. Number three is my Chantakai Real Bronze in Serena. I've been really enjoying this Bake Chalet formula too. Look at that. Oh, let's compare this with the Sisley. This is Sisley and this is Serena. So Serena looks to be a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and swatch that. But they both have that sunburst kind of uh, design on the compact. So this is Serena. It is a bit deeper and a little bit darker compared to the Sisley bronzer. I've been reaching for this a lot too. I'm so happy I got it. I got this a while back when Chantecaille was having one of their sales and I'm so happy I did. I was tempted between this and Goa, but I think Goa is a little bit more red tinged and I like more of a neutral bronze. So that's why I got this one and this is beautiful. Let me put a little bit on this as well. Let me put a little bit of this on as well. Just take my brush. Yeah, so pretty. Loving this. So this comes in at number three, the Chantakai Serena. Isn't that pretty? Okay, any guesses on what my number two is? It is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity One. I freaking love this. And it's a cream product and it works so beautifully on my skin, even on top of powder. It's crazy. I use this with a sponge 
after I put on my foundation concealer and powder, I will take my wet beauty blender or sponge and I'll tap that in there and I'll tap that in and let's do this now. Look, it just does the best job at contouring and blending. Look at that, it just deepened up what I already have on. It's so pretty, it goes over powder beautifully, which is something I need. Oh, look at, look at my cheekbones now. <laughs> I'm putting all these bronzers on, but look at that. I love this. Now, I waited a really long time before I purchased this because it's not cheap. But I've heard so many people rave and rave about this that I finally purchased it and I love it. I love it so much. And you know, cream products normally don't work out for me or they rarely work out for me, I should say. But this one is so pretty and so gorgeous. And look at that on my face. Mmm, love that. So that comes in at number two. And of course, my number one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Airbrush Bronzer. So let's go ahead and swatch this next to all these other ones that I have right here. You can see this is the most neutral out of all of them. I go for that one quite a bit. But I do like how this looks with all my other bronzers. I should use that more often like that. It's so pretty. It's so, 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 so pretty. Okay, well, let me know if you have a bronzer you think I should try. Let me know if you think I should try the Gucci one. <laughs> and if you think I should get number two or number three, I think number two is more red than number three. I'm, I sound like I'm gonna get it, right? I don't know, I don't need it. Actually, nobody ever needs makeup. Let's put that, that let, let, me, let me just put that out there. Nobody needs makeup, but I really enjoy <laughs> putting it on my face and doing these videos. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.